Also developing tonight, calls for change continue in the wake of the murder of Harmony Montgomery. She's the five year old foster child that the state and courts turned over to her father. The man now indicted for her murder. Anchor and investigative reporter Carrie Cavanaugh has followed this story from the very beginning. She is live tonight at the State House. And Carrie, lawmakers once again want to create a commission to examine how cases involving these vulnerable children are handled. And you may, you may remember that it was May of last year I broke the story that lawmakers had filed that budget amendment to try and create this commission. That I, though, in the budget reconciliation process. So this year, yes, once again, they have now filed legislation to create the Harmony Montgomery Commission. And advocates say it is crucial to ensure that the state is prioritizing the safety and well-being of thousands of kids in state care. Our system tragically fails this little person. Nearly two years after we learned of five-year-old Harmony Montgomery's disappearance. She never had a chance. Calls for change continue on Beacon Hill. Families, advocates, and lawmakers are coming together once again to ask the Massachusetts legislature to create the Harmony Montgomery Commission. It would bring together experts from child welfare, the courts, and state officials to examine how the state weighs the best interest of a child while upholding constitutionally protected parental rights. What is the best interest of the child in the representation from the state? Uh, as we saw in this case, it was reunification over the safety issues of the child. State Senator Michael Moore and State Rep Carol Doherty are co-sponsoring the bill calling for the commission. In February of 2019, a judge granted custody of Harmony to her biological father, Adam Montgomery. He lived in New Hampshire, had a long criminal history and little to no history with his daughter. He's now indicted for her murder. What's being done to prevent another Harmony Montgomery from happening? And the truth is, nothing has changed. Our own Washington correspondent Blair Miller and Jonathan Bobbitt Miller are the adoptive dads of Jameson, Harmony's little brother. They came to Boston to support the commission, saying they tried to keep Jameson connected to his sister, but got no help from the state. From DCF, from his birth mom, to we reached out to her birth father and the stepmom, and we were met with roadblocks every turn. Now they say Jameson is left with heartbreaking questions. Why did no one protect her? And can she see me from heaven? Questions they hope no other child will have to ask. If we're not taking care of our kids, what are we doing? So now if the committee that heard all the testimony today votes that bill favorably out, it would move on to ways and means. And of course, we'll follow it every step of the way. Live in Boston tonight for your local station, Carrie Cavanaugh, Boston 25 News.